All right, everybody have full stomachs? And Gail, how's your nose? Feeling a little bit better after that porcupine run in? Okay, how's your nose, girl? Yeah, I know. It's painful. But you can't just rush in like that. I'm your buddy. <laughs> oh, poor Gail. I mean, running into a porcupine. I think out of all of the dogs, she has the most prickly, painful lesson to learn. I mean, for Slayer, maybe it was a little emotionally difficult for her to overcome her fear of elk, but you did it, girl, you did it. Berkeley, you just need to learn how to be able to try scaring things away instead of going ahead and trying to tackle them head on. Jomper, Prey Drive, Stilton, just the wisdom of being able to get us there when we get lost. Ah, I love all of the stories that the dogs have, so hopefully we'll get to the bottom of Gale's. Let's go ahead and hit the trail. Back on the trail? Let's be safe out there. <laughs> all right, come on, guys. Everybody ready? Mush on. We're actually making really good progress, and that's very exciting. Closer. Uh, let's go G. G. We've been having a lot of luck with going south lately. And I'm so excited that we're getting closer and closer to the cabin. Now that Iggy is better because we managed to make it to the cabin with some fresh medicine last run. You can't see anything out there. What do you pups see? Is it over there? What is it? <gasps> Whoa! Yes! Yeah, it's ghost, right? I wonder how many of you there are. Oh, I love, love, love when we run into the albino moose. We're absolutely not going to be hunting it. I'm not here to kill the only albino moose. Yes, what a good omen! Maybe that is to help us balance out from being run over by all of the moose who are right. following the owl around. On. Maybe the albino moose will be able to, you know, protect us from that. Ugh, that makes me kind of want to see what goes on in the laboratory if we had an albino moose now. Hmm, I'm pretty sure someone suggested a crossbreed of an albino moose with something else. I'll have to give it some thought. All right, mush on, pups. We're looking for porcupines. Chopper, don't get any bad ideas. You already have one, don't you? Okay, that is not a porcupine. What? Is <gasps> it? What was that? Was that an owl again? I always get in trouble with that. I'm really thankful Whoa. you're not hunting me right now. Do owls hunt skunks? Is that a thing they do? Is is this this is some kind of very very weird situation? Should we try to talk this out and see what happens? Because normally the owl and the moose combo is a bad sign for us. But this time we saw the albino moose. So maybe the snowy owls are going to give us a break. Let's try to talk this out and see what happens. I know this is a way of life out here, but maybe we could all work together. You could help me find some bunnies or something that tastes a little better. Skunk, you'll get to live. Owl, you and I could go hunt together. Wow. I was trying to help. I thought this would work for all of us. That was really cool. I'm sorry for getting in the way. I don't know why I keep talking. Of course I know why I keep talking to animals. Let's say I'm sorry for getting in the way. Yeah, I should let the natural order take over. I'd probably scare both of you, huh? Understandable. I haven't showered in days. <laughs> Lesson learned. I'll leave you both to your fates. That was really cute. Thanks for holding down the sled, pups. All right. New Ready owl encounter. I don't know how I feel about that. Come on, Slayer. All right, there we go, pups. We've got this. I mean, we're running into a lot of unique animals. Looks like we're getting there. G. That we haven't seen for a while, so I want to keep trying to go this direction. Continue to try to think. Oh, is that the bear? Is it bear tax time? Okay, bear, just move along. We'd like to come through here. Whoa, pups, just stay right there. Okay, not a big deal. We know what to do, don't panic. Training this bear in a very bad way to come after us for food. Hey, bear! But that's why we have the extra. Stay there, pups. You hungry? Oh, you you are hungry. Okay, um, this is all yours. I'm just gonna place it over here. Ah! All right, let's go, go guys. Go, go, That's only gonna last one bite, pups. Ah, we are totally training that bear to wait for us for food, but I will just pay the bear tax and we will get moving. Come on, guys. We don't really have a lot left to eat, but we could possibly get a bit of a snack. Hopefully we'll find more food. We're so close. Margo was never the best racer. All right, we don't need to worry about she Margo. She, but she kept and she didn't know. I feel like she, knew she, she was an elder who so like passed just... away under our care when we were doing med, like, med training as the musher. So that's my theory, at least. Oh, the pups Good are getting work. hungry. 
Uh, G. G. Let's look for a good spot to camp. I should go ahead and feed them. We're getting so close. What's this? What is this? I see eyes. Come on, Chopper. It's just another squirrel. You've seen tons of them. Even if you out here. He wants to chase. To it. You know what? Um, you choose, Wait, Chomper. You want to keep running? Oh, my boy's really growing up out here. <gasps> Becoming a real leader. Choosing others over yourself. I'm proud of you, Chomper. Oh, Chomper knows there's more than prey. I am so Let's proud of him. Break. All right. We'll split up the last bit of the food and this see if we can good. just make it to the camp. We're so close, so close to home. Fire would be nice. At least I'm well practiced in fire starting. All right, there we go. And then let's go ahead and give the dog some food. Food time. Chow down, pups. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give them the last of the food. Hopefully that'll be enough to be able to make it. And I'm really exhausted, but we're going to see if that produces some interesting results. And Chops! Good boy! You know, you're actually becoming a pretty great leader. Look at how far you've gotten us. You've even protected the team. Though I would prefer if you let me do more of the protecting. But we know it's our job to get everyone home. This is just the start. We've got a long ways to go, I think. Technically not. We just need to go over the ridge. But, of course, maybe the musher is talking, you know, like, metaphorically. Maybe we have a long way to go in the journey of life. Um, which, you know, I could, I could, uh, I could understand that. But actually, that doesn't wear me out. If you stop thinking about life as something that you have to accomplish or achieve or do a certain set of actions for, and you just start thinking about life as opportunities and the joy of the journey, then I think it's just so much more enjoyable. It felt overwhelming when I was much younger and I thought I had to do very specific things, X, Y, and Z, while I was in school or college or work or whatever. Like, when you start thinking about things, Berkeley, as like, a life feels overwhelming if you feel like you have to get it right. If you feel like you have to check off some boxes and get it perfect. If you feel like the only way to take care of yourself, survive, and succeed is to do some really specific things instead of just kind of take whatever opportunities life throws at you or you can build for yourself, yeah, it's going to feel overwhelming. But if you just focus on what happens and making the most of what you've got, if instead of feeling like you have some big overwhelming mountain to climb, like become a super, super famous researcher or something, and instead you just focus on making the best out of every day and its possibilities, then I really think it just becomes about the journey and a lot better. I wish I could go back and tell my younger self, don't worry about this idea that you have to have a certain degree and you have to do these things before you can relax and say that you're doing a good job at life. I wish I could have told her, just make the most of the opportunities you have. There's absolutely no way to predict the future. You don't know what kind of opportunities you might miss out on if you're so laser focused on this very stressful idea of who you need to be. Just remember that, you guys. I really, really, really wish somebody would have told me that. Yes, Stilton, it is important to go ahead and set a goal and try to accomplish it. But if you're truly miserable reaching the way to the goal and there is no payoff and you wonder if you're even enjoying the journey of life, maybe it's time to look around you for some other opportunities. It's always worth it to push yourself and challenge yourself and grow. I've never regretted any of that. But just trying to reach an arbitrary goal because somebody said, pointed into the horizon and said, you should do that. That, that, that was miserable. We're Back not doing that again. I think we're done here. <laughs> Let's go. Absolutely never doing that again. Let's go, pups. Come on, Mashan. We're so close to the end now. Hopefully we'll be able to- Ah, oh, and they already burned her through their food! Ah, oh, we're so close. If only I could just feed them a little bit more. What do you smell? All right, we'll follow it, whatever it is. Okay, so we've got someone's meal. Oh, great. All right, I need to go get it because we need to eat something. Uh, yeah. All right. Sometimes you need luck. Uh, looks pretty safe. Oh, that's a little bit nervously optimistic. Sometimes we can steal from this kill, and sometimes we can't. Oh, dang it. This is- <laughs> Man. That's one very angry wolf. 
I did bring my rifle. Okay, just stay there for a second. No, I don't want to shoot the wolf. I don't want to shoot the wolf. I don't want to shoot the wolf. Uh, what uh, the heck? Okay, at least we can patch ourselves up. And we've got plenty of food for all of us. That was uh, the worst wolf uh, attack of all. Okay, it's okay. At least we can patch ourselves up. And now we've got plenty of food for all of us. She said that twice. A chunk of my arm. But you have to make sacrifices sometimes, right? Sometimes things are just really hard. And you have to fight through the pain to know it was worth it. I know I'm stronger now than I've ever been. I mean, I've survived a wolf attack. That's more than most can say. Okay. Okay, I feel very oh, conflicted. Yes, it was! Some more food. We have plenty of food, but that also was the worst Absolutely. wolf attack we ever had. And literally, as I was saying, we should enjoy, like, the journey. Only one bullet left. At least we've already... Like, go, okay, come on. We're camping? Like, what the heck? Literally, as I was just saying, how we should, like, focus on wondering... Should we camp? What kind of life we should have, if you should push yourself this through something or not. What the heck? Literally, we get attacked by a wolf! Look, okay, yes, I do think it's important to have goals that sometimes you push yourself through the pain to do, like surviving a wolf attack. Fire would be nice. Thanks for the object lesson, oh, I can't Musher. Wait to feel the warmth on my face. And you're not gonna get much, much joy out of the journey of being attacked by a wolf. I am definitely going to give that a little bit of credit, but still, but still, I, well, I've gotta make the most of the opportunities. I really wish that opportunity hadn't included losing a chunk of my arm and being attacked by a wolf, especially since I am still extremely bruised from that moose attack. I am so glad I decided to use the med pack to heal myself. Ah, oh, but geez. Okay. Well, you know. I'm ready to cook some food. I guess now we at least have a lot of food, but I really didn't want, I really didn't want to end it this way. That's for sure. All right. Come on, guys. Let's go ahead and eat up. Food time. Chow down, pups. I know you guys are getting tired, but we're going to be able to get there. Here, have everything we've got. We're down to just one bullet, but I think we can go ahead. We're almost there. We have almost made it to the cabin again. Get back on the trail? And I feel Let's like we've definitely there. learned something about all of our dogs this time. Ah. Oh. Well, come on, Slayer. I've got to give that a little Wait. bit of progress. Food for thought. Let's go G. G. I really do need to give that a little bit of thought, because... Uh, sometimes you just have to endure, too, and get through to the other side. Shh. No! I've heard bad things about these guys. I do not need to spend time with you right now. On by. On by. We are so close to being able to get back to the cabin, I am not dealing with getting run over by a muskox. One day we will investigate it when we walk up to it, because we haven't done that yet. But we're so close. I recognize this ridge! Oh geez, what's that? You pups see that? I think it might be time to get us some food. No, 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 no. We're we're gonna right. keep moving. We have more important things to do. Man, the dogs are just going through their food so fast. I am now officially tired and exhausted, and probably need to go to the ER because of that wolf bite. But the sun is rising. We put one foot in front of the next. And hey, we never said it had to be a perfect run, right? Just focusing on this journey, come on. I'm so nervous. Oh no, 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 the pups are so tired. Please, 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 please. Can you see if they're still doing? Yes! I'm really excited. <gasps> oh my gosh, I had no idea if we were going to no. be able to make it. I think that's the most bruised, battered, actually make it? and exhausted. I knew all we had to do was move our feet. Was make it here. If we were meant to find this place, we would. Like, we've never been this tired. We've never been this wounded, tired, and hungry, and made it to the cabin before. We I had could... to persevere. We'd find our way. Exactly. And now, her red lantern hangs for us, calling us to our new home. It's not about getting it perfect. It's just about taking one step and then the next and making the most of the opportunities around you. And if you focus on doing that, you're going to find a lot more joy than if you just believe that the goal is going to have it all. Welcome home. 
I have reached big goals before, my friends, and they don't always have all of the, the everything that you think they would. If I've learned anything from the big goals I've tackled, is that actually, oh, 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 any pups? Yeah, we have Stilton in there. Oh, come on. I thought for sure we would end up with like Chomper's little sticker again. Ah, and it doesn't look like we learned anything from Gale. Let's see, did we learn anything about the porcupines at least? No, we didn't even learn anything about the porcupines. Okay, you guys. Well, I think that now that we have reached the cabin once again, we're gonna go ahead and even though we do have some supplies with the fire starter and the ax and the fishing rod, we're going to go ahead and we are going to mix and match the pack, hopefully for the last time, by putting Gale, Chomper, Iggy, probably Noodle, and one of the other dogs into the mix, not Barkley because, or not, excuse me, not uh, Bodega, and then we're gonna see if we can unlock that special event between Chomper and Iggy. And we're gonna see if we're going to be able to uh, maybe find out what Gale wants to do with porcupines. It might take finding them a few times before we can really, really pull that off though. But I know we can do it. And we've got plenty of things to think about and ponder about out in this big, beautiful open world of the Alaskan wilderness. So if you guys could do please leave a like for our wonderful pups, even if they are holding back their secrets. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!